I'm going to show you how to do a basic analysis of a survey. The data I'm analyzing comes from a survey about the cola soft drink market. What you'll see is that Displayer will cut analysis time in half. So I'm already in Displayer. This is a document I set up earlier. Insert a new page, just like what I would do in PowerPoint. You'll start by adding a data file. And here, you can import and connect many other data formats. Let me go to my computer and select this .sav file. Most survey platforms export data in this format. You just have to look for SPSS, triple S, or .sav. And this is my first wave of our COLA tracking survey. And we see the data on the left. You can see each question from my questionnaire. The icon next to each one shows the structure of that question. I'm going to drag some data over here. I have age and gender. And I'm going to call this my sample profile. Now check this out. This is really exciting. I just simply drag and drop and I can merge these categories. Pretty neat. And then I do the same thing for 30 to 39. And then for 40 or more, I can hold down the shift key and select all of these. So how long does that take to do in your current software? And if you've made a mistake with some of your merging, don't worry, you can always split this back up. And of course, you can undo any action that you take. You'll notice that Displayer uses colors to alert us to statistical differences between the sizes of the categories. I'll come back to this in about 60 seconds. But first, let's create some charts. So I'll show this as an age bar. So we have some stat testing here. We can take these off. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for this particular data. And we can make this into a chart as well. Very simple to do. The next exciting thing I want to show you is this right here. Now, if I add up the numbers of this table, it would add up to more than 100%. And that's because when Displayer imported this data, it automatically recognized that this was multiple response data and set it up correctly, no manipulation needed. We can still do all the things we did with the simple tables we created before. So if we select all the Pepsi brands, we can merge and rename. And here's another example. So here, Displayer recognized that there is a grid structure in the data, and we can quickly create a top two box score. Again, simply drag and drop this. And let's insert another page, then move on to cross tabs. So I'm going to drag over preferred cola. And if we want to cross this against age, it's as simple as that. And you can see that Displayer has been smart. It remembered how we like to treat that age data by keeping it merged. Let's get back to what those different colors mean. So that's Displayer's way of showing significance testing. Let's see what the significance testing is telling us here. The blue font means statistically higher, red means statistically lower, and the strength of the relationship is indicated by the arrow, which is based on the p-value. In other words, the longer the arrow, the more highly significant the relationship is. And if you want some help interpreting this table, Displayer will summarize it for you. Just like that. So let's visualize this cross tab. Here we have a ranking chart. And now you can see instantly how COLA preference differs by age. The neat thing about Displayer is that you can always duplicate things and change them. This is one way you can really speed your analysis up. So we can add a third bit to the data of the table, as well as make a banner. We can simply do this by dragging this over and putting it here. I can nest this above or below but I'm just going to put this on the right-hand side. 
So it's very easy to create this cross tab in this banner here. And if I want to look at this as a table, you can see this. And if I want to stat test everything against all the columns, again, I can make that change pretty quickly like comparing columns. Okay, so far we've built up tables one by one, but we can automate this process So you see all the cross tabs we just created with a couple of clicks, and if we want to export them, we can do that. Just like this. And we'll give it a little style and include a table of contents. So we get a nice table of contents that we can quickly navigate to. The formatting comes through as well as the arrows and the highlighting. And if we want to export this to PowerPoint, since we have these nice pretty charts, we can do so. Just like this. What you see is what you get. So to recap, you've seen that we can easily and quickly analyze a survey and report all the results using Displayer. It's specifically designed for survey analysis, which is what makes it all so seamless. We're doing everything in the one app, so Displayer will have your analysis and reporting times.